How bad can 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 this be? Oh my god! Canned foods are a real lifesaver when you're on a budget. Unfortunately, though, not everything tastes as good as a can of SpaghettiOs. Here to show you some of the absolutely most stomach-churning foods ever put on grocery shelves are the 10 most disgusting canned foods on the planet. Sir Strumming. Fish! For sport only, not for meat. Fish meat is practically a vegetable. You'll need the stomach of a Viking to finish a can of Sir Strumming. This canned Swedish delicacy translates to a sour herring in English. The herring part isn't so bad, it's more so the sour part that makes this canned food revolting. You see, Sir Strumming is herring that has been fermented in a salty brine for six months. Basically, the fish is on the verge of rotting when the can is opened, hence the extremely foul smell. Blech. The smell of a delicious apple pie cooling on a windowsill will bring all the neighbors to your door, but a can of Sir Strumming has the opposite effect. This noxious nosh has been called the world's stinkiest food. Yikes, that's a recipe for disappointment. The IKEA Bistro serves up plenty of famous Swedish snacks and meals, but you won't find Sir Strumming on the menu because its stench is so hideous. Let's be honest, a steaming plate of Swedish meat balls sounds a lot more appetizing. Did you know that Sir Strumming is actually banned on some airlines? Seriously, it's on the no-fly list. British Airways, Finnair, Air France, and KLM all forbid passengers from carrying Sir Strumming in their luggage. KLM has had to deal with leaking cans of Sir Strumming on more than one occasion. Needless to say, the cleaning bills were not cheap. Silkworm pupae. Can we not talk about worms or sewers or rats today with all these people in here? We got a good thing going. In the US, gamers ingest copious amounts of Doritos and Mountain Dew in preparation for a 24-hour Twitch stream. But in South Korea, gamers chow down on something much more unappealing, silkworm pupae. What? what PC cafes in South Korea have vending machines filled with bizarre snacks like dried squid and cuttlefish chips, but silkworm pupae in a can is usually what sells the best. Conan O'Brien was offered a can of these creepy crawlers when he visited a PC cafe in Seoul, but even Coco couldn't muster up the courage to take a bite. Silkworm pupae may be disgusting, but they're also extremely healthy. They are boiled in soy sauce and sprinkled with a hefty helping of MSG before they're canned. The result is a salty and savory snack that's packed with protein. It makes for the perfect gamer fuel as the bugs provide players with plenty of energy for an intense League of Legends session. And hey, it's not like a can of silkworm pupae is the grossest thing you can eat in South Korea. If you've seen the movie Old Boy, you'll understand. A can of silkworm pupae is 1,000 times more appetizing than a live octopus. At least the silkworm won't try to wriggle its way out of your mouth, maybe the next season of Squid Game should feature a silkworm pupa eating contest. Are you listening, Netflix? Bear meat curry. Hmm, what's that curry taste? Curry. Japanese people love homemade curry. They're also obsessed with canned food, and they even have pubs that only serve canned dishes. So why not combine Japanese curry and canned food? It sounds like a good idea, but something went seriously wrong along the way. Someone decided that bear meat should be added to the mix. Why? Perhaps things got lost in translation. You can actually buy canned bear meat curry in Tokyo vending machines, but this crazy crazy concoction is not very popular with the locals. Bear meat curry contains huge chunks of brown bear meat as well as veggies like carrots and potatoes. However, the delicious brown curry gravy isn't enough to mask the putrid taste of the bear meat. Bear meat curry is actually quite popular in certain parts of Japan. It's widely eaten in northern Honshu and Hokkaido, but the populations of bustling metropolises like Tokyo and Osaka prefer more standard fare. They'd rather quickly chow down a beef bowl or slurp up some ramen during lunchtime. If you find yourself looking for a late night snack while you're in Tokyo, be warned. That can of bear curry in the vending machine was likely sitting there for a very, very long time. Cheeseburger in a can. This is a tasty burger. Who 
doesn't love a good Big Mac or Whopper? Even vegans can enjoy a tasty burger thanks to Beyond and Impossible Meat. However, if a cheeseburger comes in a can, you'll probably want to steer clear. And really, why would a cheeseburger come in a can anyway? Fun fact, a woman in the UK once left a Mickey D's burger on a plate for 10 years and it looked as fresh as the day it was picked up at the drive-thru. Hey, we said it looked fresh, not that it was. There are actually a few different kinds of canned cheeseburgers on the market. The Trekking Burger was created by a German company that caters to outdoor enthusiasts. Apparently, some hikers were getting tired of granola bars and trail mix. Then there's the Bacon Cheeseburger in a can. Bacon usually makes everything better, but not in this case. How sad is that? Even an extreme bacon lover like Ron Swanson would avoid a bacon cheeseburger in a can. A canned cheeseburger can last up to 12 months before opening, and if you want your burger to be piping hot before you dig in, all you have to do is boil the can in a pot of water. Most canned cheeseburgers come with ketchup and mustard, but you might want to add more to mask the off-putting taste. Adventurous eaters who have been brave enough to try this bizarre canned food say that it is foul-smelling and inedible, but it doesn't just taste and smell bad. The texture of a canned cheeseburger is also off-putting, as many have described it as mushy, clumpy, and clammy. Sounds just plain icky. Reindeer pate. What are you laughing at? Rudolph. You'll definitely end up on Santa's naughty list if you eat a can of reindeer pate. You've been warned. Stay away from reindeer pate if you want Santa to bring you a brand new PlayStation 5. I'm for real. I'm for real. Reindeer pate is a delicacy in Norway and the Swedish Lapland. Connoisseurs of this odd canned food say it tastes absolutely divine when spread on some hot buttered toast. Many Laplanders enjoy reindeer pate during the holidays while sitting next to a roaring fire. If you're squeamish, stick with a nice mug of hot chocolate and some gingerbread cookies. If you want your reindeer a little less plain, you can opt for reindeer pate with juniper berries. Foodies say the berries perfectly complement the rich and meaty flavor of the reindeer. Only the finest cuts of Swedish reindeer are used to make reindeer pate, and the result is an arctic delicacy that tastes a lot like venison. Canned scorpion. Oh. <laughs> Insects and arachnids are eaten all over Thailand, especially in the countryside. Everything from dung beetles to bamboo worms to weaver ants are on the menu. But there's one insect that's much more spine-tingling than the rest. The dreaded Asian forest scorpion is a crispy and crunchy treat that makes many locals salivate. Think of it as a miniature lobster or prawn that you can finish in a few bites. If you can't make it over to Southeast Asia to try one of these menacing monsters, you're in luck. You can actually buy canned scorpions online. If you take the plunge and buy a roasted scorpion in a can, consider yourself braver than most. The Asian forest scorpion is packed in a plastic bag and sealed in the can for added freshness. Every part of the scorpion is edible, from the stinger to the claws to the tail. Don't worry, the venom is removed before it's canned, so it's entirely safe to eat. Oh, right. Well, that is good to know. Be extra careful when handling your canned roasted scorpion. It's incredibly fragile and could easily crumble in your hands. Maybe it's best to just close your eyes, pop it into your mouth, and finish the whole thing in one bite. Online retailer Thailand Unique sells canned scorpions as well as cans of other squirmy and wriggly insects. You can even purchase an edible tarantula, although it's far too big to fit in the can. Don't knock it until you try it. Rattlesnake. It's snake meat. They say rattlesnake tastes like chicken. Even if that's true, you're probably better off sticking with actual chicken. Trust me when I say this. Before it's canned and left to sit on the shelf of your local gourmet grocery store, the rattlesnake is smoked and skinned. It's then packed into the can with a soupy grayish brown broth. If you have a stomach of steel, you can order up a can of rattlesnake from Walmart.com. Yes, that's right, you can actually buy canned rattlesnake 
snake from Walmart. Not only is canned rattlesnake unappetizing, but it's also not very filling. There's not much meat, and rattlesnakes are filled with a lot of tiny bones. You'll be picking bones out of your teeth for weeks if you chow down on a can of rattlesnake for dinner. Canned rattlesnake actually has a very mild taste. The meat itself doesn't have an overpowering flavor, and it's free from MSG, preservatives, and growth hormones. So if you're looking for a snack that's clean and natural, canned rattlesnake might be right up your alley. Bird's Nest Drink You're back in the bird's nest. Why chug a bottle of Gatorade to quench your thirst when you can reach for a refreshing can of Bird's Nest drink? This super sweet beverage has enough sugar to satisfy Edgar the Bug from Men in Black. However, there are a few not-so-secret ingredients in this beverage that might make you feel a bit queasy. The white fungus and Bird's Nest don't add much flavor, but they do give the drink a distinctive slimy and gelatinous texture. The Bird's Nests used to make this drink are made with bird spit, so you'll get a little bit of that in your drink as well. Just a little bit. I can't stress the littleness of it enough. People in China and Vietnam enjoy sipping this strange canned drink in the summer. You might even say it's slimy yet satisfying. The Golden Nest brand of Bird's Nest drink is even available at select Costco locations throughout the United States and Canada. Why not stock up on some the next time you stop in for that 20-pound jar of peanut butter or the massive bag of chips? Pigeon pate. Well, uh, we'll have the... There's a fine line between gross and gourmet when it comes to French cuisine. Steak tartare, frog's legs, and escargot may sound unappealing, but they're actually delicacies. The same goes for pigeon pâté. Fans of this strange food love to spread it on a nice, crusty piece of bread. A French baguette is the preferred delivery method, but a piece of hearty whole grain bread will do in a pinch. In the United States, pigeons are often seen as pests, but in France, they're what's for dinner. Cool. Not cool. Just don't tell Mike Tyson. He has a passion for raising pigeons and keeps them as pets. He would be rather upset if he knew people were chowing down on pigeons at brunch. But if you find yourself in France and want to risk the wrath of Iron Mike, you can find pigeons on the menu at many fine dining establishments in Paris. It will be labeled as squab rather than pigeon, perhaps to trick unsuspecting tourists. Seriously, would you order pigeon if you saw it on a menu? Whole chicken in a can. Cuckoo ka cha! What do you do when you're hankering for some finger licking chicken in the middle of the night? Your local KFC is closed, so I guess you're out of luck. That's why it's always important to have a whole chicken in a can stored in your pantry. Unfortunately, canned whole chicken looks a lot less appetizing than a bucket of the Colonel's finest. Despite the slimy and gooey appearance, whole chicken in a can actually tastes pretty decent, as long as you don't mind your chicken sloppy and extra salty. Pass. Yeah. The meat is incredibly tender after being tightly packed in a can and left to marinate in its own juices and fat. To prepare your canned whole chicken, simply crack open the can and dump the contents into a casserole dish. Pop that in the oven for 10 minutes at 475 degrees Fahrenheit and dinner is served. Whole chicken in a can, which is made by the ubiquitous Sweet Sue Food Company, is an essential item for your apocalypse bunker. You'll want something a bit more filling than canned canned beans to munch on as the hordes of zombies try to break into your impenetrable fortress? Bon appetit! To get extra videos, just tap or click. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.